Hey guys, for this video, I want to show you how to install the official Android 4.4.2 KitKat on Samsung Galaxy S2. And if you are wondering why I'm calling it the official Android 4.4.2, is because that it has been uh, it is it is the first ever 4.4.2 KitKat ROM uh, based on Touches UI. So uh, it is the first Touches Federal, uh, Android 4.4.2 KitKat S5 ROM for the S2. Now that's why I'm calling it as the official one because you know to raise more awareness about this ROM. So people were asking why you are using why are you using this ROM. So here's the reason why I'm using it because it's only it's the uh, the only ROM that is uh, on the uh, TouchWiz UI and still providing the 4.4.2 KitKat. While Samsung failed to provide us with that, so even though it's for your old phone, but still has a lot of guts uh, in 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 him. So. Uh, yes, I want to show you how to install it. So first of all, just visit the link in the description. Download two things. First is the Fields kernel, and the second one is the Wistcat uh, version 3.3. Uh, now that's the name of the custom ROM. It's not released by Samsung. It's released by someone else, but still, it will work as an official ROM for US Samsung. So it's just like a uh, official uh, Samsung ROM for the Galaxy S2. You know, like the official update. So. Uh, first of all, you're going to need to download it and place it in the internal memory. So, and also make sure you have uh, the CWM recovery has been installed on your device. And now go to the install zip from SD card option, choose zip from internal SD card, and scroll down. And you will be seeing, uh, just copy it in the, into the root of your storage root of your internal storage so that you can see the ROM and the kernel outside so all you need to do is press the power button and it will gonna be installing in no time and also after installing it just install Phil's kernel and before installing this ROM make sure make sure you make a backup of your current ROM uh, uh, you can make a backup by going here backup and restore and also, uh, before installing ROM, after making a backup, do a wipe data factory reset, then install the ROM. So in case you you know have some boot loops or something. So, uh, so uh, again, I'm explaining you that is a first ever 4.4.2 TouchWiz ROM for the Samsung Galaxy S2 with updated Mali GPU graphic drivers. Now, the, the, the performance is very well. I've only done a full review. You can check out my channel. And also, I will do a, do a compar comparison review with my Samsung Galaxy S5. Uh, you know, this uh, build of the Samsung Galaxy S5. So, yes, that's what you guys. And I will see you in my next video. Peace out. Like this video if you enjoyed. And do subscribe for more awesome videos.